what I have here is a PCE moisture meter, which I'm going to use to check the moisture in the slab. The concrete slab was poured Wednesday of last week, today's Monday. I'm going to check the moisture content and see what we have. I also have a slab on the other side that was poured two weeks ago, and we'll check the moisture content on that one. PCE instrument is a simple instrument to use. I've used it before and it's very accurate. It's very simple. You take the prongs, you lay it down on the concrete, and you push the on and off button, and you have 7.2, 7.3 at this spot. Before you start, you push it and you calibrate it, and it'll come up to 5.2, and that's normal for the concrete. This concrete is a high density, 6,000 PSI concrete, and like I said, it was poured last week. So what you need to do is you need to do on a slab this size, I would do about six different tests and then you would average them out. This is 7.2, about the 7.3, about the same as what we had over in the other area. I'll pick an area in here. This is 7.1. 7 7.1. Seven point two. Now I'm going to go to the slab on the outside here that was poured about two, three weeks ago, and we'll check the moisture content in this slab. Seven point one. So as you can see, if this is drying and that's still wet so the moisture will keep coming out of it concrete takes 28 days to cure you know we're, we're probably halfway through it on this one and uh, just about a quarter on that one so as it goes it'll dry more and more and uh, this concrete will get the strength that it needs in 28 days PCE meter is used for numerous uh, items there you can use this when you're doing floor flooring contractors they should have one of this in there moisture in the floor, concrete, before they put a wooden floor down, before they put carpeting down, before they put a fusion floor down, because if there's too much moisture, the floor won't adhere, or you'll have mold in between the two properties. The other item is, is if you have an existing home and you think there's a water leak under the slab, you can use this to check to see if the moisture content is high in the concrete, and you can locate the leak in the slab. The other item is, is on a slab like this, as we're going along, we're going to be loading this with block and we're going to be checking the strength as we go along. And you want to make sure that the slab is curing evenly. If it's not curing evenly, that means there's a problem in one spot. May it be there uh, may be too much moisture, maybe a low spot holding water during rain. And you just want to keep after it and keep your eye on it. That's why this meter becomes so useful.